Hey you guys, I'm Olivia Culpo and I'm gonna show you, I don't have to say that because it's my channel. Hey you guys, I'm gonna show you how I maintain my summer glow into the fall. I'm also gonna walk you through my favorite glowy, bronzy beauty routine and skincare routine. So I didn't do my moisturizer yet. I'm gonna show you some of my tricks for maintaining that glow. So I use these Clarins Glow Drops. I've used these for years, I love them. And then I'm going to use, as my moisturizer, I'm gonna use the Strobe Cream from MAC because this definitely creates that like nice iridescence. So I'm just gonna put like two, two drops of this, not a lot because um, I have other tricks and tips that I'm gonna show you. So I'm just gonna put this in my hand. I'm just gonna rub this in. See how it kind of creates like a nice sheen. I love this as like a base. Ooh, next on my kind of like glowy, fresh, bronzy skincare routine is this Tatcha lip balm. This has little like gold specks in it, so I'm a huge, huge fan. I'm just gonna moisturize my lips. But before I do my makeup, if I am feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm losing a little bit of my summer glow, I use this Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. So one hour is light, two hours is medium, three hours is dark, and then you're supposed to wash it off. But I honestly just spray a little bit on my face and then I find that throughout the day, it will kind of just maintain a really nice glow. And you can do this like to your whole body. It's it's a really like great at home tip. And I would recommend like just covering yourself somewhat. And then I just do a really quick spray. So now let's move into makeup. For makeup, I always start with concealer. I don't know why, I know not everybody does that, but I'm just gonna go in with my NARS Creamy Concealer. This is in Custard. And then I'm just gonna go under the eye, do like a triangle under the eye, a little bit around the mouth, a little bit in this little shadowy, lovely area. And then a little bit on the forehead. And then sometimes just a little bit on the nose because my nose gets red. And then I go into my beauty blender, or my fingers, and I just blend that all in. And then if I have any like more stubborn spots, which I do right here, here, and here, I go in with the Clay de po. This is in Ochre. This product is so good. Um, the one thing I'll say about it is it is really expensive, but I do believe that if you are going to splurge on a concealer, this is the one you wanna buy. You'll have it for years, it lasts forever. I love the Dior Brow Wiz, so I'm gonna use this for my eyebrows. I feel like, I just like that the tip is really thin, and, um, but it also gets the job done, so I'm just gonna try to cover my spots. I never like to go too heavy with the eyebrows, it's really just about covering where you may need some extra little fill-in but I'm not really a big fan of like completely drawing the eyebrow. We want this to be more about the glow of the face, so we're not gonna be too heavy handed with the brows. Next, we're gonna go on with our bronzer. So I have a few bronzing products that I really love. I love this Chanel Soleil Tin. So this is like kind of a cream based that I like to use on my eyes or on my skin. And then I also really love the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzing Glow. So, oh actually, sorry. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow, yes, from Charlotte Tilbury. So, I'm gonna start with the Charlotte, and I always use like a pretty large brush for this part, because I just want it to be more about filling the face with bronze. So we're just gonna plop that on. So, I concentrate on the temple, the hairline, the cheeks, the jawline, and the neck, just so everything's blended. So after this step, I usually like to go in with a any sort of like a hydrating spray. This is the MAC Fix Plus, so I'm just gonna spray this. So for the eyes, I also like to do a bronzy eye. So that's where I'll use this Chanel because it's just a really nice, definitely bronzy color, but it's not too intense. It will just kind of fill in perfectly and blend, almost looking like your natural eye. Yeah, so this is pretty much almost done. That's how you know that I use it a lot. But I'm just gonna go into the crease of the eye, both of them. 
So, okay, next we're gonna move on from the shadow to these really cool caviar sticks from Laura Mercier. I like, I'm a fan of sticks. I, I also use these Charlotte Tilbury sticks sometimes also. They're probably not called sticks, but you get the idea. They're like large crayons. But I'm gonna use the copper Laura Mercier stick. And the reason why I love these is because it's very buildable but also not too, it's not too intense, it dries, doesn't transfer, and it's buildable. So I'm just gonna take this and color the whole eye. And then I'm going to just use my finger to blend it. So this is again the Laura Mercier Copper Caviar Stick. And then I'm gonna go to the outer corner with the darker caviar stick. So this is the caviar stick in cocoa. So I'm gonna be really careful with this because I don't want this to be a dramatic eye look. So I'm just gonna like literally flick the edge of my eye and then use my finger to blend it as much as I can. And then I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Just flick and then try to blend and smudge with my middle finger, index finger whatever you desire. Okay, so now for the under eye with the Coco Caviar Stick, I'm gonna use a brush with a really fine tip because I wanna get to the under eyes, but I don't want it to be super heavy because I really want this to be kind of like a lighter look. I'm just gonna go into the lash line and nothing more than that. And the out, just the outer, I would say like one sixth of the eye and then just bring it up. So I just did like a little flick. And I'm gonna do the same for this side, and then just flick up. So I did that. And now I'm gonna meet the bottom with the top by doing literally the exact same thing just on the top lash line. I'm gonna close my eye. I'm just gonna use this brush to do a little like baby mini little cat eye. Okay, so now that I kind of did like a pseudo, very light liner, I'm gonna go back in with the Chanel and my brush that I was using before here. I'm just gonna blend everything again a little bit more. This is class. Do not disturb, yeah. only speak. <laughs> Okay, next, let's go in with more bronzer for fun. Quickly, just gonna touch this up, then we're gonna move on to my favorite step, which is blush. So I use this palette, it has highlight, bronzer, highlight, blush, blush, highlight, and it's called the La Palette Natural. This is also Laura Mercier. Um, and I'm just going to take a pretty big blush brush here. This is actually almost even like a bronzer brush and I literally go into every single one and let them smile. Just put it on your cheeks. I like love this palette because it's not, I just love all the different variations and I love that all the different things combined together create just a deeper blush but also with some luminance to it. Glow. Now, one more time, we're gonna spray. So we're gonna let that dry, and now we're gonna go in with the World Lip Liner. This is my favorite. Okay, I usually either use the Dior Lip Glow, I love the Dior Lip Glow in 001, or I might switch it up today and use the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you know, I'm just gonna stick to what I know and love. I love the Dior Lip Glow. Just gonna put this right on. I love this because it's kind of like a really moisturizing stain. Another reason why I love it is it looks a little bit different on everyone because it changes according to your temperature. So I'm gonna put this on and then I always take my makeup wipe and I just blot it because I don't want it to look like a gloss. I want it to look more like a natural stain. Okay, 
I'm still gonna let that dry, but this is where we're gonna keep it for now. And we're gonna move into my favorite step, which is the highlight. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand. I love this product so much. This is called Spotlight, this is called Pillow Talk. This is a little more golden. Maybe I'll just combine both of them. See, they're just a little bit. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a dot of the Pillow Talk and then a dot of the other one. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And then I'm gonna do a little bit on the nose. And then it comes with this separate brush. It's called the Hollywood Complexion Brush. And you just kind of blend it all in together. I love this product so much. It's so fun. Okay, I feel like we're looking bronzy. Okay, next we're going to use an eyelash curler. Big fan of eyelash curlers. It's like they like wake you up literally. Okay, so I think next we're gonna do mascara. So I usually want for this look to be very natural. I usually don't even do mascara with this, um, but I'm just gonna use a spoolie. And this is the Laura Mercier. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. It's very good, very intense. So for the day since this is more about the bronzy, glowy, effortless vibe. We're just going to use a little bit on this brush and we're just gonna do the base of the lash and just go up just a little bit because we don't want it to be too overbearing. Okay, to finish off the eye, we're gonna go back in with our beauty wand, beauty light wand from Charlotte Tilbury in Spotlight and we're just gonna dab the inner corner of each eye. One, two, and that will also just bring a little bit of an extra Hello, that we love. Let's move on to the body before we set the makeup because obviously if you want to maintain your overall glow, you have to make sure that it's all over your body. So I also love the Supermodel Body. This is another Charlotte Tilbury product called Supermodel Body. Just put a little bit on your hands. If you do need some extra color, I also love the Vita Liberata Body Blur. Um, this is the HD Skin Fish Finish in Medium, Medium Latte which I love this. I don't think I need it today because I feel like I'm pretty even. So I'm just gonna use this on my shoulders, decollete, make sure you don't get it on your clothes. That's always like the worst thing ever. Just try to blend it in as best as you can. Okay, so we did the supermodel body and then to finish it, sometimes I love to use this Patrick Ta look at her spray. This is actually for the face, but I usually just use it for like the shoulders and the decollete. It's like one of my favorite products right now. And again, you definitely want to let this dry because it can transfer and you, and then you won't get your glow. Plus you're, you'll stain your clothes. So wait for that to dry. And then we're going to finish it off with another really nice glowy Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the Bar of Gold Palette. This is the brush that comes with it. So I'm just gonna go like this and I'm gonna just once again go over this area and you're gonna be so sparkly. It's not even funny. You're gonna just be like a star. Okay, so our final, final step is powder. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I love this powder because it definitely covers fine lines but it's not too chalky. It has a nice little iridescence to it so it's very radiant. Um, and I just pour a little bit into the cap. I use the brush, that, the puff that it comes with blow on it and I just apply it to my problem area. So like around the mouth, under the eye. And as you can see, it's just really, really light. Like it's just the perfect amount of coverage without being too, too overbearing, which I feel like some powders have that effect, which we don't want here. So that's it you guys, that is how I maintain my summer glow, how I try to get a bronzy, dewy, glowy look all year round with some of my favorite products. I hope you learned something. Definitely subscribe, comment below, let me know any other videos you guys want me to make, any other makeup looks you're curious about, maybe like nighttime routine, morning routine, red lip maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to come up with ideas, so let me know. Love you all, bye.